Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is the iPhone, and if you guys have been following Guilty Gear at all lately, you probably have seen stuff about this PRC option select that's been taking over the Guilty Gear uh, discussion. A lot of people are saying it's cheap. A lot of people are saying this is going to break the game. But what I haven't seen is people actually doing this a match. Is this actually practical? Well, in this video, that's kind of what I want to talk about. So we'll kind of discuss what this tech looks like and how to do it. But then we'll also take this online and see if we can actually land this tech in a match. So first of all, what's the tech, right? So this is a clip that the, from the person that found it, Radio Wave. He's like an OG, found tech in like every game, you know, one of those, those lords. But basically he does the same input here where you see the close slash on block, nothing came out. But if a DP comes out or a burst comes out or something else comes out, you just automatically RC. It looks pretty easy, but it's actually uh, pretty hard in practice, right? What you have to do is you have to double tap the normal you're doing and then you press RC. There's actually a really strict timing to it. And we think it's like a one to two frame window. For me, it's like I have to press slash twice in a row as fast as possible, hold it and then press RC and then usually it'll work. Yeah, there we go. Most of the times I messed it up was because I wasn't pressing it fast enough, right? And you see the same tech automates the DP. I think it's pretty good. Bridget can already normally do this, right? So just off her basic knockdown, she can get a safe jump and it pretty much does the same thing, except way less risky because if you mess it up, you're not wasting 50 meter. The other cool thing you can do with this tech, it also works in a block string, right? So here, for example, every single normal you can do, you can PRC. And that's why people think this is cheap because you can just do it every single time, every single time, every single time. The issue that I think makes this a little more impractical is not just the input the input itself is like a one or two frame timing and every single time you do it it's also one or two frame timing you have to think the startup of the move is one frame the rc startup is six frames a dp startup is nine frames so that does not give you much wiggle room right so even if you can do the input correctly which again is really hard you have to also time your midi correctly so you have to hit like two one to two frame windows just for this to work and if you mess up you're out 50 meter there's not much downside going for it if you have the excess meter to spend but i think this will deter a lot of people from doing this i don't think you'll see it right away however i've been practicing this for maybe an hour or two and i would say i'm at like 50 percent consistency yeah it's tough but we're gonna try to hit it online and see see how it feels yeah, that's why I think it's it's really good for bridge off 5HH. That's what I'm thinking too. It's just, it's tough, dude. It's tough to time. Sleepy Ash, okay. Oh wait, this guy doesn't have a DP, shit. You know what, you can still backdash. I'll try, I'll try it against backdash. I did not think this went through when I accepted this match. All right, so I can't do it unless I have 50 meters. I would have tried it there, but again, I can't like hit it. See like here, I wouldn't even do it, right? I could just kill. Oh, I missed my super. Alright, so I didn't even have a chance to do it there. Yeah, you have to already be winning. That's kind of what I'm seeing. Like, I, I literally have not had one opportunity to do the option select here. I could have probably beat that, huh? Oh my god, that's the worst block of my life. You tried to beat a burst at. So the Melia player could have done that there, right? They could have baited, but I would have just DPRC'd anyways. So yeah, the Melia player had one chance to do it. I had zero chances to do it the whole match, just based on meter. All right, I'm going to go for it. All right, I fucked it up. <laughs> so I just wasted 50 meter. Okay, so let me let me search let me search PRC OS. I, I, I want to hear someone saying that the game's dead because of PRC OS. I had one opportunity that whole match to do the PRC OS, right? And it, it wouldn't have helped because he was just he was just blocking, right? So I see Strive is currently completely ruined. This PRC shit is absolutely not okay. <laughs> because between all the hackers going around striving this new PRC OS, I think it's a fantastic time to start learning other funny games. The new Strive PRC OS thing might be the most insane piece of tech ever conceived. Let's uh, let's play against the DP character. Let's not be biased, right? Let's count the opportunities we have to do the DP OS. I actually, wait, 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 wait. I had an idea that I don't think people, okay, hold up. I said I only had one opportunity to do the PRC OS. I don't think that's true. And we need to take this to the lab because I think you might be able to bait burst. <laughs> it works. 
Hey, hold up. I got I got actually blocked though. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of cheap, right? So in theory, you could do that with every single normal move in your combo to make it burst safe. Now it'd be really cheap if this shit was in hard as hell to do. So okay, maybe the, maybe there were a couple more opportunities to hit that uh, against the melee player, right? There's obviously a lot of points where you could still burst and like they can't really do anything about it, right? It's only like that small window, like in transition between moves that I guess is technically burst safe. So, you know, maybe people adapt to it, but again, I don't think, I, I don't know. We're a long way before that kind of stuff happens and people just start OSing their block strings. All right, now let's try against the DP character and see see how many opportunities we have for, for this tech. I, I want to play someone, yeah, low points that's likely the DP in bad situations. All right, yes, perfect, okay. All right, so we have a DP character, right? So in theory, you know, DP characters, there's more opportunities to use this option select. So uh, the goal, try to land the option select. Oh God, that was actually good. I could have done the OS there, but again, no meter. Seems to be a pretty common theme doing this option select. Tried the OS. Oh, I tried the OS, but I actually got um hard slash. Yeah, that was bad. But these OSs are fucking me up because I wasted 50 meter on that too. Okay, so <laughs> we had a couple opportunities to land the OS there, right? But I, I messed it up both times because honestly, this. That was is really, really hard. I was thinking while doing this, if I play a character like Sin that ends more of their combos not in save jumps, that this is gonna be a little bit more useful tech, right? All right, so Sin should have way more opportunities to land the PRC OS against this Kai player, right? So again, Kai, DP, it's on the slower side, should be easier to time. And Sin's knockdowns generally don't end in a safe jump. So we're going to have to abuse the PRC OS a little bit more. So let's see if we can uh, land it this time. Oh, I should have done it. I could have done it. I, I would have smoked them. All right, let's try it again. Shit. I think I actually did it there. I just wasn't ready for <laughs> I didn't know what to do on block. I was so happy I did the OS, I think, correctly. See, I didn't mean to do the OS. Okay, we'll try the OS again. Oh, I did it again. Okay. Yeah, this OS isn't actually that bad. Hold up. It's just like hard for me to react to the OS actually working. There we go. Damn, okay, but yeah, this OS, it feels pretty good. It, it, it's a lot more doable on, on Sin for sure. I had multiple opportunities where I did it and I think I actually got it. And the one time he DP'd, he, you know, it just happened. But let's see if we can be a DP this time. Oh, I did it again. I think it's easier, Sin, hold up. Let's see if we can get it. Bro! I think he's also recognizing that I'm doing it on every single knockdown. He's not oh, he's not doing the DP. I, I need I need a weaker player to do this against. Oh, I, I did the OS. It just, damn. I, I should have done it in the strings. But I'm not, I'm not at that level yet. Oh, I whiffed. Okay, see, so I did the OS right, right? At least presumably. Uh, I just hard baited the burst. <laughs> yeah, we hit the OS, but again, you have to hit the 5S meaty too. That's the issue. So it's hard. It's hard, especially when you want it to hit, you know, right away. So I'll give my final thoughts on that. Honestly, um, I noticed a few things. One, Sin seems to benefit from it way more than um, Bridget, right? Because a lot of Bridget's knockdowns, you end up in safe jump anyways, and there's not really a point of risking the technical execution on a safe jump where, you know, you're, you're going to bait the DP anyways. Um, against Sin, like... I really conditioned this guy not to DP. And even though he saw a couple of the RCs, he, he probably knew what I was trying to go for. I think you could tell by the end, he never DP'd and he he got really scared of, of me trying to bait it. So, you know, there's just that additional confidence of being able to get safe meaties actually felt pretty good. It's going to be a while before you guys see this, uh, this kind of tech in tournaments, but I think it's definitely viable. I think it's definitely cheap. I think they should probably patch it out if only for the reason that I think it harms Bridget. <laughs> 
but it also makes the game, you know, less interactive. And I don't think that's a good thing for the game. I will say, I also don't think this is super busted just because a lot of characters don't really have a DP in the first place. So you're not, you don't really have to worry about that. And most of your knockdown situations, you don't have 50 meter anyways to, uh, to do a media. And, and when you do, you're usually going to spend it on super or something like that. So is this options like the Guilty Gear Killer? Well, I, I, I honestly don't think so because it seems to be only a small percentage of situations where this OS actually comes into play, right? Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think about the video. Like, share, and subscribe if you like this kind of content. You made it this far already, and hopefully you want to see the channel grow, and you can help do that by like, sharing, and subscribing. Also, leave a comment down below what you think about this PRC OS. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.